a short series of vignettes um, to review what we talked about in class over the last couple of days about moving in your squares and plus signs. Okay, as we talked about, you have your various motor blocks right down here. Um, the two that I'm going to talk about and I've talked about in class are the move steering block, which is this one, and the move tank block. Again, if you hover your mouse over, it'll tell you which blocks are which. Okay, you have your ports. Again, motors go into ports. Select the letter you want to change, and then you can select, change it by clicking on that. Probably the most common troubleshooting activity or most um, common troubleshooting thing is to make sure that the ports you have plugged in, the motors plugged into, match the ports on the motors. Okay, um, just some quick little things here. This is um, what you're turning your motors, how you're selecting, what do you want to turn them on for? Steering in the move steering block, power level, and duration. And this is a braking it's a check mark means it'll break at the end of the duration. Not checked um, like that means it will coast at the end of the duration. Okay, the only difference between these two blocks is here you have motor control motor B power and motor C power. Everything else is the same. I'm going to stick with the um, move steering block because that's probably the one that you're going to use the most use the most here. Um, I will talk about this one a little bit later on. Okay, so you can turn it on for one of several things. You can turn it off, on, and that'll be like an infinite on. On for seconds. Again, this is battery level will affect how this goes for, um, how long the motor runs for. Um, it will affect the duration. Um, one second is one second, but if the power level of the battery, the battery level is lower, it won't turn. The motor won't turn as fast, so it won't go as far. Degrees is a very finite. It's degrees of the motor. So remember, as the motor is here, it's the degree turn of the motor this way. It's not like a 90, like a 90 degree turn. It's 90 degree turn of the motor. Okay. And then this one, the one I recommend you do is rotations. One rotation is one rotation. You can do decimal rotations up to three decimal places. So you can have 1.923. Um, the steer here is just a percent. 100% all the way over to negative 100%. And what it does is it slightly adjusts the power of the motor to get like a, a car turn. Okay. And don't let the picture fool you. This is not necessarily a 45 or 48 degree turn. It's just a 48% turn. It's not a 90 degree turn either. It's going to be more like this. Okay. Depending on how your robot's set up and how many rotations you set it to go for. Okay. This is not necessarily a circle. Um, it really depends on the number of rotations, the power level. It depends on a lot of things. Okay, so this is a relative number. Okay, so that's steering. Again, you can adjust this power level. As I said in class, the more power you have, the less, the more speed you have, the less strength you have. The less power you have, the more strength you have, but the less speed you have. Okay, those are really quick things on the motors. The only difference between these two really is you can adjust this is motor B this is motor C so you can get more of a like if you set this to zero it's going to turn do what I call a swing turn this would be swinging around motor B so motor B if you got motor B motor C it'll turn like that um, whereas if you go like this negative 50 and I'm just going to type it in here negative 50 okay, this is going to be more of a turn in place turning around a center point. Um, so that's your quick things in turning.